Okay, we got three Karibos here, so we have a chance. Oh, we even got the character thing. And it's... Okay, we got a chance here. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Panda. Today we are playing a little bit of a different game. I know on the schedule I said that we're going to be playing Pokemon TCG online, but I decided, okay, I made this deck and I really want to show it off because of how much I like this deck and it's for Mako Tsunami. Now, it's not a typical Mako deck as it doesn't really deal with his main character card of legendary fisherman however i made a mermail deck instead now i really do think that this deck works well with mako's ability mystic depth now if you look at what this ability does it basically gives us a field spell of umi umi basically gives us 200 extra attack and defense points when using water type monsters and since we're using a mermail deck everything's going to be a water attribute so we should be fine with that as for what cards we have in here we have one mermail abyssal spike we have two abyss lead we got two abyss truge we got two abyss grunde grunid Grund, I don't even know how to say half of these names. We got Abyss Hild, Abyss Balian, we got two of those, and we got two Abyss Nose. We also have an enemy controller, this really does help in defense wise, just in case if things get a little bit iffy. We got two Abyss Scale of the, the Mitsuchi. Mitsuchi, sure, we got two of those, that basically gives us 800 attacks, and then this will help us negate a spell. If the opponent has a super good spell card, we can get rid of this and we basically negate their spell card. And then we have block attack for defense, and then we have abyss scale of Cetus. Now Cetus is basically like this one, but it's purple. Nah, I'm kidding, it's got a better effect than that. So the other one basically negates spell cards, while this one negates traps. That's why this one's green and this one's purple. Ooh. And then, of course, my usual defense traps. I got two draining shields in here and a wall of disruption. Of course, you could use something else besides these three trap cards. I just use them because, you know, that's what I got. And then, as for my extra deck, I got three number 28 Titanic Moss. Because they're, they're rank 7, I can use these bad boys or this bad boy to, you know, syn not synchro summon, to exceed summon with them to get this thing. Now, the whole point of this deck is to get out this one and this card with using the abilities of all these other bad boys. You guys, it's not really like one of those kind of decks where you're trying to get something out there, like a blue eyes deck, you're trying to get the blue eyes out, or something like that. It's just a regular deck like that. But let's go ahead and do a battle with Mako Tsunami. So, we have found an opponent. Let's see. What is this guy going to be playing? This is Rookie 2, so I know not everything's going to be super good, but th this is basically just to show you guys that it does work, okay? So, we're playing against a Yami Yugi, so there's a chance for a Dark Magician deck or something like that. Let's see. He might have the draw, the Destiny draw. Okay, so if you look at this thing's ability, basically it allows me to... To special summon a mermail a, bil a mermail card, okay? So, that's, eh, this is probably the worst starting hand I could have. So, I'm just going to leave it off as that. Because we have Draining Shield, and Draining Shield should take care of anything that this guy could possibly put out there. So, let's see, what's he going to play? He could be playing a Dark Magician deck. He could be playing 
something else. What is this? Okay, so he's got a Dark Magician deck. Yeah, right. He's got a really good Dark Magician deck on top of that. So this is going to definitely be a challenge. Fusion Recovery? So what, he's got, um... I don't know, what what kind of... Okay, so I know there's multiple Dark Magician decks with Keeper of Dragon Magic. But I'm not sure which specific ones. I'm going to go ahead and let this thing attack me. That's fine. Worst case, we could just activate a Draining Shield later on. But let's see what we draw here. Mermail Abyssal Spike. So if this thing is normal special summon... Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to normal summon this bad boy. And then, yes, I'm going to activate his ability. I'm going to send this one to the graveyard. So that way on the next turn we can activate this card's ability and we should be fine. What does this thing do? I don't even know. Um. Yes, we want this one. So these two, Abyss Hyde, Hyde, whatever, and Abyss Grunde, Grande, Ariana Grande, I don't know. So that thing basically, it, 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 I don't know, okay, you, you just, just watch, just watch what happens, okay? It's a very confusing thing to actually say because there's so many effects and chains and this and that that has to happen, but we should be fine, just, just watch. Okay, so... Now that I put this thing in the graveyard, the whale boy in the graveyard, I'm gonna normal summon. Wait, do I want a normal summon? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I want to. If I can get another abyss spike, that'd be nice. Okay, that's fine. We're going to set this one. This one allows me to summon from my hand, and then we're going to go ahead and see what's underneath that card. What you got there? X-Saber. What kind of Dark Magician deck has an X-Saber monster? Huh. I, I got no clue what this man's deck is now. Each time your opponent's monster is affected, place one spell counter on this card. Uh, you can send this card with six spell counters or more, then add one spell from your hand. Well, that's that's a dumb card. Why would you do that? Okay, well, I'm a little confused on what this man's doing, so I'm just going to flip some in that one as well, and then we should be able to just knock this man out right here, right now. Yeah, okay, so I don't even know what kind of deck this guy has. I thought it was a Dark Magician deck, but it didn't look like it was a Dark Magician deck, so I don't know. He's going to live on 100 life points. So we should be able to take him out the next turn. Worst case, if he, you know, gets rid of this monster, then we can go ahead and summon this monster. If he gets rid of this monster, then we can summon that monster. Either way, he's going to lose next turn no matter what happens. So he summons a monster in attack position, Hunter Dragon. Okay, so this guy doesn't actually have a planned out deck. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm going to go ahead and let him attack that one. It's fine, just so that way you guys can see how this deck works. So yes, we're going to activate its ability. And then we can summon this thing from our hand. So basically all of these monsters will let you summon things from your hand, graveyard, deck... It's just a whole lot of summon special summoning, and you should just be able to get out super powerful monsters out really quickly, and then you can just add these spell cards to them, and then you should be able to, you know, do a lot of damage. So, there we go. Finished this guy off. It was a good thing. It was fine. It was a good battle. So that's basically how you use this deck. I know that wasn't a very good example because all I did was just activated a spell card. But if you can build this deck and you get used to how this deck plays, I think it can do pretty well. Now I haven't played this deck in 
PvP in a long time. This was probably the first time I've played it in a while. But I think it can go pretty far. It won't get you to King of Games, that's for sure. But it should get you decently far. It should get you halfway to King of Games. Now, let's go ahead and look at how to get these cards. Now, a lot of these cards, they all come from one specific deck box. Gaia Genesis, so Abyss Spike, you get it from Gaia Genesis. Abyss Lead, you get from Gaia Genesis. Abyss Truge, you get Gaia Genesis. Abyss Grunde, you can get it from Cybernetic Rebellion, apparently. But you can also get it from Gaia Genesis. I basically opened up a bunch of Gaia Genesis trying to get Sangin or whatever the card was for my Exodia deck. And I basically got all the Mermail cards along with it, so might as well build a Mermail deck, right? Now, I didn't get to show off how to, you know, Xyz Summon and all this and that, but that's fine. You barely even Xyz Summon with this deck. Now on to Abyssal to Hide. You can get this from Shark Fang, apparently, but it's also from Gaia Genesis. Abyss Baleen. Balian. I don't know. You get it from Gai Gaia Genesis. Abyss Nose. You get it from Gaia Genesis. I guess you guys did couldn't see that one coming. Enemy Controller. Now you can get that from Seto Kaiba. From Random Winds. You can get that from DSOD Kaiba. You can get it from Rank Duels. Train Your Karibo. Train Your Karibo is going on currently. So you should be able to get this card. And then you have Abyss Scale of the Mitsuchi. Mitsuchi. Whatever. Yeah, I'm guessing you guys know where to get this one. Gaia Genesis. And then you have Block Attack. Everyone should have Block Attack. If you don't have Block Attack, then there's a problem. Because you get it from the Yami Yugi starter deck. You get it from the Seto Kaiba starter deck. You get it from Dual Trials. You also get it from the Arcana starter deck. You should have at least four copies of this card somewhere. Now, you guys probably won't be able to guess where you're getting this card from. But you guys won't believe it. It comes from Gaia Genesis. And apparently it also comes from Cybernetic Rebellion. Okay. And then you guys know where to get these cards. Draining Shield. You get it from Servants of Kings. You never get the selection boxes. And then you get it from Servants of Kings for Wall of Disruption as well. As for this number 28 card, I got mine from Shark Fang. Trying to get number 32. Shark Drake. Yeah, Shark Drake. I don't know if it's Shark Drake Vice or if it's just Shark Drake. Or is the Chaos number Shark Drake Vice? Either way, you get it from Shark Fang. That's this deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications to see more Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links and just as a sneak peek. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek here on the deck that I am currently working on. It is for. Eh, scroll down. It's not for any of these guys. It's not for any of these guys. It's for Kite Tenjo. You guys probably know what it is. It's it's it's, it's Galaxy Eyes deck. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I'm a little late on the Galaxy Eyes trend here, but I'm trying to get the Galaxy. I'm trying to get three copies of Galaxy Eyes Blue Eyes White Dragon, not Blue Eyes White Dragon. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, and I haven't gotten a single one. But this deck is going to be cool. Trust me, you guys will love this deck. You guys will have three Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons out there every single time. And I did just basically copy the Kaitenjo event deck that you get. And put it in here and added a few more cards. Sprinkle in a little bit of stuff in there. And then you should have the deck I'm about to build. But you guys will see that probably, you know, a few months down the line. Because... I gotta, you know, I gotta actually do stuff to get it. But we do have 500 gems, so this will be our first pack opening, I guess. So let's scroll down to get Photon of Galaxy. As you can see, I've been grinding out this thing, trying to get that Galaxy as Photon Dragon. I only have 30 packs left. But let's go ahead and buy some more decks, trying to get, or nope, not more decks, more packs. See if we can get this Galaxy as Photon Dragon. Alright, so we got Blade Bouncer, Overlay Sentinel, Trap Cards, eh, garbage, garbage, garbage. I might make a Butter Spy deck, I don't know. We'll see. I probably sh should, because I got enough cards to make them. Okay, some more 
garbage stuff, you know, nothing too cool there. We got Photon Caesar. I don't think I want to add this to my deck. I'm not sure. Uh, Ghost Trick cards, Galaxy Storm. Eh. We're not getting anything good so far. Photon Pirate, that's already in the deck. Alright, Photon Twin Lizard, that's already in the deck. Daybreaker. Okay, we got three Karibos here, so we have a chance. Oh, we even got the character thing. And it's... Okay, we got a chance here. Photon Zebras. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we... Okay. Alright, we finally got the card. Woohoo, let's go. Okay, uh, now nothing else here is going to be good. <laughs> we got the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Thank you so much. You have no idea how many gems I've spent on this thing trying to get this dang card. It's stupid how many gems I've spent on this thing. Uh, I have such bad luck when it came, comes to these things. So let's go ahead and add Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Save the deck, yes. No, we are not going to make you my active character. But that's going to end off the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.